I'm Anna Maria and I live in Cleveland, Ohio and I'm here to tell you about America in general's high school system. Okay, first we have your pre-kindergarten which is from ages like five, five to six or even four to five, five to six. So you're going to start at a very young age and it's to teach you about um, general school like your numbers, a little bit of your alphabet. So after you graduate from that, you're going to start your, your first part of your schooling, which is kindergarten. That's when you learn your alphabet. Like you go more in depth of your alphabet, you learn words, you learn how to be compatible with other students. So then you're going to start from first grade. And from first grade to about first grade to fifth grade, I'd say, is when you're starting to grow, you're learning more vocabulary, you're learning math, science, phonics, you're learning how to dictate words. So you're gonna end at fifth grade, that's your elementary school. And you're gonna start the middle school, which is from the sixth to the eighth grade. And that is when you're taking much more higher level tests. You're looking at which high school you want to go to. After you've taken your tests and you've graduated the 8th grade, you're looking into a series of schools that are what, you, what fits your personality and what you'd like to do. So you have a public school, which is, a, I would say, a majority, majority of children go to. It's free the expenses go to your parents' taxes. You don't have to wear uniforms. I think it's more low-key, I'd say. You still have the options of higher classes, so there's a lot of kids. So then you're gonna go into your private Catholic high schools, which are extremely expensive, and I'd say you have to wear uniforms. They're much more stricter. Um, it's a much smaller school, so you have you become in a smaller environment. It's a little bit more sheltered. They give more of a push towards your college. So, generally speaking, a private Catholic high school costs between eight thousand to fourteen thousand. So that is a private Catholic high school. They also include religion, so it's based off of a religion-based um, curriculum. So a private school slash boarding school. A boarding school is where you can sleep at the school. These private boarding schools are much smaller. So th that is what we have in America, the different schools, high schools that we have. Scholarships include musical scholarships. Um, so those can range from $500, $500 scholarships to $2,000 scholarships. So it's um, basically if you could play an instrument or you can sing and the directors see if they want to give you money to come to their school. Here you have um, academic scholarships. So if you place really high in their tests that they give you, you could get up to $5,000. You also can get financial aid. So that's basically help from the school. You could fill out a form and they give you scholarships depending on how much, how much you qualify for. So that is our first introduction to high schools in America. And if you like the video, click like or subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you.